How would you describe Professor Thomas? Humble. Professor Thomas, he's, he was very humble. I would say passionate. Um, I definitely saw that within the second class when he gave us a lecture and pretty much no one else talked but him. He was just so passionate about the subject and showing us his favorite um, films and different ways of how to shoot things. I can tell you guys from like the first day I met him, he was like full of energy. And I feel like anybody else in the class can tell you he is so passionate. Well, he was so passionate about his work. Professor Thomas was someone who cared about his work. He embraced it and showed it to us in our, in our classes each and every time. He was very authentic. He knew what he liked and he stuck to it. But also he was very much a teacher. And that's, I mean that like outside of the educational setting, he was very much patient in terms of what he wanted to show other people, very genuine. He always made sure that we were all on one accord and he was a very good, he was just a very good person in general. And my thoughts of him are mostly positive. Professor Thomas really loved everything that he did. Even when it didn't turn out the way that he wanted it to, he still loved every part of it very passionate about his work. We were in need of someone to teach two classes here. One class really in, at the beginning and um, someone told me about Joshua Thomas. Uh, Professor Stacy Patton told me about Joshua Thomas and told me he would be a great person to fill the visual journalism position that was open. So I gave him a call and um, he was really very joyful to talk to. I looked over his resume, he had excellent credentials, and so we were able to get him through the process fairly quickly, so I was glad that we were able to hire him for fall 2022. Joshua Thomas was the real deal. I thought he was a great videographer, so I thought he could offer the students the benefit of his experience. He had been working for, uh, I think, the New York Times for nearly 10 years. So he had interviewed a lot of people. He had conducted, um, he had directed photography for a lot of projects. I looked at the New York Times website and I could see his work, as well as I looked at his portfolio and he had a great range of work in the digital, digital media space, which I thought was exactly what we needed here at Howard. As the chair of this department, sometimes you have a tough job, uh, sometimes it's joyful, and this was one of the tougher experiences I've had. I've been um, chair for, this is my second year, and this is one of the tougher experiences that I've had because I wanted to make sure that the students were okay, and so I couldn't really think about how I felt until a few days later, and so, you know, it's just part of the job, and I just think that he's somebody that we want to remember, and I'm glad to be working on this so we can remember who he was.